this is good looking spots, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Looks like a mama and a little one, don't it? Uh -huh. If you don't get to catching some fish, we might have to eat them worms. Supposed to be high in protein. Oh, look, Leo. What? Here, catch this one. You got one, Leo. Let's see what he's Oh, got. you got him up here. Raise him up. Oh. oh. He's a throwback, but he's big. He's a big fun one to catch. I'll throw him back. I want to throw him back. Now squeeze, squeeze hard till you get him over the boat. Now take him to the Good boat. Good job, throw him back Leo. In. Yeah. There he goes. You know, Dad. Some of my earliest memories have been fishing. You and I fishing together. I unfortunately uh, never got a chance to meet your dad, as he passed away before I was born. But uh, can you remember stories of you guys fishing at a real young age? Oh yeah. Dad first started fishing back then at uh, Pay Lakes. Of course, I was raised in Fairdale and they had big horn, just Pay Lake. And then uh, I think the state, it might have been the fish department, uh, put in Tom Wallace. And I never will forget, he'd go up there and take me up there. And of course, when they first stocked it, you could catch quite a few fish. That's the first fish in that in the Pay Lakes until they bought down at Nolan. I remember sitting on the dock and they were still building the dam. That's how early they bought down there. They were working on the road that goes over. Yeah, Here you go. I got it. I got it. Really? I believe he's bigger, Leo. Oh, he is. Now, that's more like it. Now, can we keep him? That's a dandy. Let's keep him. That's Let's more keep like him. it. Can we keep him? Went to the bug here. Can we keep him? You want? You know where you put him? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We're a family that has always fished together. I mean, you only have one sibling, a brother, and he's he's about as avid as you can be oh. at hunting and fishing both and. I remember as a family just all piling in that little cabin and I mean extended family. Your mom and your mom and you know, of course your dad had passed away, so your stepdad and cousins and uncles and everybody, we just all piled in there. And if there was an open spot on the floor, you took it if you wanted to stay at the lake, and that's just how summers were. It's huge to keep the family close, fishing. It's probably been the biggest part of uh, all of our lives and it probably helped keep me out of trouble. Oh, look here, Leo. Put that new bait on there and look what happened. Hey. Must be all about the legs. Are we, gonna, are we gonna keep it? I believe that one's probably big enough. You open it up? Depends on if you want to fish taco. That's a good one, Dad. Got him. Nice job, Leo. Hey, Leo. Nice no, job. How many have you caught? Have you caught them all? No, we just need one more. We just need one more fish. Okay. One more. That'll be good. So Papa and Mama can have a Father's Day fish fry. Dad probably gets that love of fishing honest. My dad, which his grandfather he never met. I can remember that was back in the late 50s, early 60s, whenever they built that lake. He would fish all day, and that was back when you just sit on the front of the boat and just oared it. You didn't have trolling motors. And just a little old uncomfortable aluminum boat, he'd fish all day, so. If there's such a thing as passing it on, he did. Are you gonna get this fish in the boat? Good Lord, that's a big one. Mercy Leo! Yeah, we're keeping it, it's a keeper. That's a taco. Yeah, it's a keeper too. Man, I thought that was uh, red ear, but it's not. 
It's just a It's a keeper. Bear. Now that is a trophy bluegill. Boy, we're proud of you, buddy. You did good. That might be the biggest bluegill pepper's ever seen. Oh, <laughs> that's like probably the keepers. I thought he was a nice one. I believe this is a fish taco, buddy. Mm -hmm. We're going in. All right, Leo. raise it up. Who's is bigger? Papa's or your daddy's? Papa's. No, this one's bigger. Oh, all right. I'll tell you what, it yeah, wouldn't take many of that it. size to have a mess. I hope he don't eat the rest of them. <laughs> you know, actually, I think the very first uh, memories of me fishing was bluegill fishing at the ponds where we used to live there in Mount Washington at the front of the subdivision. Oh, yeah. Those ponds have been gone for 20 years, but I think that's my absolute very first memories of fishing. Remember how many big bluegill we catch over? Oh, my goodness. When they on the nest? Doing that's this. what I like about that fin program that y'all came up with. That introduced more people to fishing than anything, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope all the fathers and sons get are able to get out this year during Father's Day and enjoy either one of our local lakes or a private pond or get out on one of our Finns lakes and just spend some time together. <laughs> <laughs>